A very good evening uh, to all our viewers and uh, happy Independence Day to everybody watching. Thank you for joining us on the show. My name is uh, Toivon Jabela, your host. Tonight on the show we are joined by a representative of the country's oldest political formation, that is uh, Swanu. Uh, Sam Ngawiyake Sam Shikudu is, uh, he says he's Secretary General of, of Swanu. Uh, there are others who also claim the same entitlement, but we have uh, Sam Shigudu in studio. Uncle, thank you for making time. Thank you for having me. W wonderful. You, you, you issued a statement this week uh, in which you, or over the weekend, in which you are hitting back at some claims uh, made by Evelastus Karonda, who is supposedly uh, the president of your party, uh, accusing the former president of the party, um, Mr. Ma Mberwa, mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, embezzling essentially uh, funds from fishing quarters allocated to your party. You are disputing that version. What is your version? Um, thank you for having me. And uh, firstly, let me wish all, wish all the Namibians a happy anniversary. Yes. Um, Toibo, to start off, let me say there are no fishing quotas given to Swano. Uh -huh. Not the ones that I know of. Okay. I know Swano was never given a fishing quota. Swano does not have a vessel. Um, and in the statement issued by Karonda, he indicates that Comrade Mambera was given our uh, embezzled money that was given or that was supposedly given to Swano. Mm. Uh, which we do not know of. Now, which is very, very interesting is that Karonda is a newcomer in the party. Uh, he joined Swano 2011. Mambirwa was the party president for almost 10 years. Tangeni took over five years, the, uh, five years down the line and uh, if we are talking about this, we are talking about more or less 15 years or 17 years. Mm -hmm. Now, I, who is an old member of a party, has got no clue or idea of what he is talking about, where he got the information from. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Yeah. So I know does not have any fish in quarters. You, you stated in your statement about um, you alluded to fish in quarters the ones that you are aware of having been allocated only to Ruhere. to a trustee of veter of party veterans or something to that effect. If you can ref re re reflect on that, yeah, um, there is an organization called Ohere. Mm -hmm. This is the one that has been given fishing quotas, and uh, dividends from that are the ones that are given to the war veterans, mm -hmm. and this is the only ones that we know of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And should Karunda be talking about that? then he should tell us uh, the involvement of Mambra in this uh, uh, elders' council or uh, uh, veterans' uh, fishing quarters that he, that he is referring to. Mm -hmm. I, I hear you. So, so why is uh, Mr. Mambra not speaking for himself in this regard? I th he's no longer party president. He's no longer a member of parliament. I find it interesting that you chose to to speak for for him for him, for him in in this case. No, um, Trevor, we are not talking for Mambero. Mm -hmm. If you read my statement, or if you may read my statement, if you didn't receive it so far, we wanted to clear the name Swanu, Swanu's involvement in this whole saga. Yeah. And again, we want to clear it because we are leaders of this party, and we cannot allow the party to be dragged in in, in the mud. Mm. by someone who comes from nowhere. Yeah. Mambra has got his rights. He knows exactly what these people were talking about. And he has got his own rights to go and, and, and respond. What we are saying is that Swanu didn't have that. Mm. This is a pure lie for someone to come into the party and start using the party uh, platform implicating other people. He's putting the party's name in disrepute. Yeah. And this is that that we, that we are trying to avoid. Yeah. The, um, what, what is Mr. Karonda's status in the party right now? I'm asking because 
uh, he's always been considered as a newcomer who came from nowhere, who used the back door to sort of occupy the positions that he occupy. How do you view him as a party? What is his status in the party? Yeah, um, Toivo, Suano has got a very, very long history. And uh, it has got a lot of su successions in its leadership. We normally go through congresses and uh, people are elected. Mm. Now, constitutionally, someone who has got to climb to that position has got to know the policies and principles of Swano. Now, Karonda was a SWAPO member. He was a secretary general of NUNW. Whether he was kicked out or whether he resigned, he went and formed uh, Nunla. Nanlo. Nanlo. Mm. Uh, with how many members, we do not know. Who were the other members who were in his leadership, we do not know. He left that organization as it, is, as it was mentioned. He went further and formed another formation, political formation called Power, a political party for that matter. Uh, he became the president of that party, as from what we heard. The, this party died natural, a natural death. We do not even know where the members are, who were the co leaders. He came as one man to Swano. Now, if you look at a person like that, jumping from one fence to the next, jumping from the other party to the, another formation, and you handpicked him or will borrow him, just to put it in very, very simple terms, mm. you take it from another crawl, you bring in, the next moment he is elevated to a position of secretary general, two months or three months or five months thereafter, president, from president, he's now being well shared. They want to take him to parliament. Who is this person? Uh, you know, we are Africans. Mm. And uh, sometimes you say there is witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, is that witchcraft? Yeah. I don't believe in this. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. This man does not have any foundation. And again, just to put it very clear, when this, when this gentleman was elected, we were at that uh, so-called Congress, which we regard as just a normal uh, meeting. Mm. Karonda was not opposed. Tangeni stood as the next candidate or nominee for presidency. He pulled himself out of the race to make way for Karonda. And he's the one who brought Tang Karonda into, the form at, in, into Swano. Now, mind you, after Karonda was nominated or was elected, they took another lady, Rebecca, from nowhere again, made her the vice president of the party. Two people who are not even known to the, to the rank and file, who do not know the policies and, and principle, uh, the policy of, this one, of, of the party, and you make them the, the heads. Hmm. Is, that, is that normal? No. I hear you. Um, were you elected as SG at the same uh, platform? No. Um, remember the time when I came to you here? It was 2021. Yeah. I was elected at the Extraordinary Congress in August 2021. This is the Congress that disposed of Tangeni and his leadership and the Central Committee, which was dysfunctional. Mm. Um, these guys opted to go for, they didn't accept the, the Congress. And for that matter, they summoned us to court. Currently, Swanu is involved in a, in a battle, in a court battle. Uh, while in this fracas, they went on and last year, April, they had what they called a national congress. That's yeah. where Karunda was elected. Mm. Actually not elected, but handpicked. Yeah, yeah. Um, who did that platform uh, elect as uh, SSG, uh, S? as illegitimate as you consider that process was, uh, <coughs> or, the, or that position was not contested for? Which one? SG. The SG position was given to, to Hiakaire. Hmm. Hiakaire, and by the way, which is very interesting also, 
before Karonda uh, joined Swano. Yeah. Hiakare was the SG. Yeah. In the Tangeni Politburo. Yeah. And then he resigned as SG. Mm -hmm. uh, Karonda was brought in and put in as an acting SG. Mm. From there he was elevated to a position of an SG, from there to the position of the president. And Hiakari came back, resumed the position of the SG again. Uh -huh. So w w where does that leave you? Where does that leave me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, because you are, you are also saying you are SG. I am. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it. <laughs> I am an SG. Yeah. Those guys. <laughs> let me just say. You know, sometimes there are some few things that you can call facts. Yeah. If a certain faction, whether ten or fifteen people, elect you as a president, I don't have any right to say no. You are not. Yeah. If I am realistic, we are elected by those people. Mm. But then there should be a process where you are going to resolve this problem. Now these guys, they took us to court. The court hasn't yet pronounced itself. It has got to pronounce itself even up to the legitimacy of the positions. Mm. And this is not yet done. So, in fact, an extraordinary Congress in as per the Constitution of Swano has the right to remove the leadership that was on board. Mm. Now these guys, they didn't want to move away. So I am an SG and I will remain an SG until otherwise pronounced mm. by the court of law. Yeah, yeah. How, how much backing do you have in the party? Um, because clearly the party is divided. Uh, there are those that are behind you. There are those that are behind other claimants mm. to these positions. How do you measure your popularity within Swano? Um, Trevor, let me not lie to you. Let me become very realistic. This situation is still fragile. We have got people who are seriously following us. At the time when we were at, the, at that very so-called Congress, the, the one that elected Karonda, there were branches that were chased out of the meeting. 50 delegates signed a petition and they came from different branches. Yeah. So there are people who are following the Karodan group. There are people who hasn't yet understand what is going on as I am talking today. We still have got a lot of work to do. We still have got to go on the ground. We have got to meet the, the rank and file. There are many people who are not yet decided. So for me to tell you that I have got the three quarter of the masses, I will be lying to you. Yeah. There are some others who say, no, we do not agree with both. Hmm. If you might have read the statement made by the, the ex-president, Comrade Mambero. Comrade Mambero directly said, no, I do not uh, support either of the two leaderships. So we, we, have, got, we have got people who have got that opinion. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, recently, trying to resolve this problem, we had a court-connected mediation process whereby both two factions had to come up with uh, tentative solutions. Hmm. And our colleagues came up with what they meant. We have to relinquish our positions, we have to join their crawl, and they are going to give us positions. Whereas we said, we realized that this, pro uh, this problem is tracking too far, in the first place, it's draining the party's resources. Secondly, it's dividing people more and more. And the best solution for that is for us to all to relinquish our positions and call for a new Congress mm. so that a legitimate leadership can be elected by the masses. Yeah. Well, they yeah. rejected that. Yeah. And we went ahead, we gave a second opinion whereby we said, okay, now, if you do not accept that one, take your position, we are taking our position, we send it to the masses, and the masses should, make, uh, should have a referendum yeah. and see which best of the two solutions are they going to choose. Yeah. And they refused again. I hear you. Yeah. So we are going on a break, but during that moment, 
think of my question, my next question to you, and that is um, whether the if if another Congress was called and the results come out unfavorably mm -hmm. from your perspective, like it did last time, whether you would now accept that or you would say no, as long as I'm not the winner, the winners cannot be accepted by me and my group. But hold that thought until we come back from the break. That is we, a very good question. Yes, we are coming back now. In the journey 2004, in my capacity as the head of state, I launched Namibia Vision 23rd and emphasized the need to be clear about where we are, where we wanted to go, and over what time frame. Thus, this vision is still valid and achievable in the remaining seven years if we work hard and the remain united as, as I believe that a people united striving to achieve a common good for all members of the society will always make victorious. As a chief, as more, give me a full tank. HB boss, change your tires, they are worn out. Ah, you know what, I'll change it next month, it's fine. Please check your tires. I did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The show continues with uh, Ngawiake Sam Shikudu. Now, Uncle, to my question, will you accept defeat if you were to be defeated at a newly convened Congress? Trevor, let me just put it very clear. Um, our aim to resurrect this party is not for leadership. Our aim is not to grab the leadership. Our aim is not to hijack the leadership. Our aim is to put the party back in track, mm. uh, on track. Um, we, the question that you are posing now, we time and again explained, and I remember even the time when I was with you here, we said even if the court pronounces itself and says that we are wrong, we are prepared to accept the outcome. And for that reason, that's why we even called these guys and said, okay, guys, let's call for a Congress. Hmm. So a Congress is a democratic process that is allowed in the party. And if you lose, you have got to follow. Hmm. If you lose, you have got to follow. Now, why do we have to go on and say, no, we are not going to accept? No, this is not. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. <coughs> One of the interesting developments in your party that, have, that occurred in your party in the recent days is news that um, Dr. Tangeni Yambo will leave parliament and that uh, th there's actually serious contemplation to uh, replace him with uh, Evelastus Karonda. Your take? Yeah. Um, the whole move seemed to be clandestine. Uh, as per the Electoral Act, each party, each political party that is represented in Parliament has got a party list. And uh, you follow that party list up to the last person. Karonda does not appear in any way on the party list of Swan. Now, how they try to wheelchair this guy through the fence into Parliament is a clear indication of what we were trying to contemplate on. Mm. 
That's what we were saying. Something is not right. Hmm. How can you bring somebody from somewhere, make him a secretary general? He's not even known to the masses that we said before. You moved him, you elevate him to a position of president, and again now you want to move him to parliament without following the procedures. Hmm. Is there not uh, an established culture within Swanu that sort of says, I don't know whether it's in black and white or not, but th th there's this long tradition in your party that the head of the party ought to be in parliament, especially if there's only one position in parliament, even if there were two, one of them has, uh, has to be the party president. That has always been the culture. So wh wh what must be the exception here now? No, no, no. This is not a party policy. It's not a yeah, party no, not, policy. Not policy, but, but like I said, you know, it's a long established tradition in the party. That no. Yeah. Um, people who are being uh, uh, put on the party list are elected, whether you are president or not. Yeah. It's not a must that you should be, co uh, that you should be taken to parliament because you are president. Secretary General can go. Secretary for, for Internal Affairs can do. It's not a must that a president should go for, uh, to parliament. And yeah. not more especially in a position where you come from, some, from nowhere and just jump the fence. How do you go in? Look, here we are not talking about Swanu policy only. We are talking about an, uh, uh, an act of parliament. Mm -hmm. You cannot say because the, the Swanu constitution is not above this, the Namibian constitution. So for that matter, Swanu can say, I have got my president, and my president should go to parliament. But you cannot do it above or outside the uh, uh, act mm. of parliament. No. Mm. Unless there are any other provisions that allows for that. Yeah. And Swanu cannot go outside that. Is there any... Uh, what, what, what will happen um, as leaders of the party as claimants to leadership positions in the party who are determined to, to protect the integrity of the party and the, the processes and systems of the party. If uh, the rumor is true that uh, indeed Karanda is now be about to be wheelbarrowed into, into parliament, um, it, would, would, there, would there be any opposition to that? Or would you say, look, he's the president of the party now it's not correct or we are not happy with it, but, but we'll let it go? No, we won't. We won't let it go. We won't let it go. We will go as far as the ECN. Yeah. They have got to tell us how they managed to get the person in. And if needs be, we are going to take them to court. Yeah. We are not going to allow the party policy to be misused and let alone the constitution of the country to be trapped by the by, by political party no yeah we are law-abiding citizens we cannot do things by force but if it is in the in the in the interest of the people if it is uh, in the in the context context of the law we are going to take all necessary precautions to prevent situations of this nature to happen. Mm. In fact, what you are saying now, if these people are uh, good listeners or if they read, they should go back and read what happened to PDM. Yeah. PDM put people in parliament. Today, what is the situation? They were removed. I know, mm. I know that the person who might probably or who might probably have the right, uh, uh, should be uh, uh, taken to parliament, might be on their side. And he might probably think that, okay, I'm just going to lay silent and allow this guy to go. Mm. But we are not going to accept that. We won't. I hear you. He can go in, we are going to accept him, but not Karod. Not the person who is not on the list. Yeah. The final question, briefly, then, that the same. Um, <clears throat> Your party is the oldest in the country, but also one of the smallest parties now uh, in terms of its representation, especially in parliament and elsewhere. <clears throat> Where did it go wrong uh, from this party that could actually be described as a liberation party itself? 
in its own right that uh, it no longer uh, what it used to be. What happened, mm -hmm. briefly? Mm. Trevor, this is a very, very interesting and very difficult question to answer. Yeah. Yeah, um, let me rather not go very far from what happened during these periods of time. Yeah. Uh, remember the time when we were talking about the issue of Tangani, the reasons why we wanted to remove Tangani. We said these people are not campaigning. Yeah. During elections, you remember the past elections, you'd never had Swanu going out to the, uh, in the field, uh, campaigning, putting up uh, star rallies or anything. Now, how are you going to gain votes, or, or how are you going to co collect voters mm. if you do not if you do not campaign? These are these are weaknesses that we realized, yeah. and those are the things that we are trying to, to rectify. But it's not only thing, anything that they said. This has been going on. Yes. Even during Mambiro's time. If it is the case, look, let me, let me just take it back to the time of uh, uh, Kum, uh, Dr. Kandando. Dr. Kandando's situation, he became a president when Swanu was out of NNF. And NNF, by that time, had only one seat. And mind you, that was a formation of different parties. So... Some of those members who were in NNF, they went back to their own parties. Mm. And for that matter, Kandado didn't get a seat. So we started building up again. That's why Mambero got one seat. And during the Tangenis period, where he was supposed to build up, the voters started shrinking. And during Tang Tangenis period, we got less votes than the, uh, during the period of Mambero. And those are the things that we are trying to fight against. I'm not blaming Tangeni as the, uh, the, the sole person who made mistakes. Mm -hmm. I'm talking with, that is the reason why we said both the Central Committee and the Politburo were dysfunctional. I'm not talking about an individual person. I'm talking about the collective leadership that was there. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Shigoto, thank you for, make, for making time. Uh, happy Independence Day, and uh, we look forward to. We'll be we in the media will be watching closely the developments in your party. I know that you said that you said you, I do not see you often. Yes. If I were going to see you often, then you were going. You were not going to have news. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, that is Thank you. This Trevor. is uh, tonight's show with uh, Gawiyake Sam Shukudu. Trevor is, likes to call me Gawiyake. Gawiyake <laughs> is a surname for Gawiyake. I am Gawiyake. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Thank you. Sorry for the. Yeah, no, that's uh, right. Yeah, but yeah, that was tonight's show. Thank you for watching and happy Independence Day to all of you.